Mr. Chairman, and to the Credentials Committee. My name is Mrs. Fannie Lou Hamer, and I live at 626 East Lafayette Street, Ruseville, Mississippi. Is this America, the land of the free and the home of the brave, where we have to sleep with our telephones off of the hook because our lives be threatened daily because we want to live as decent human beings in America? They had a, a universal tap system. I, I had never heard of that before. We were monitored, there's no question about it. And if you said something too derogatory about the operator, the phone would start ringing. <laughs> so <laughs> you knew somebody was listening. I have gone from the civil rights movement, from voter registration to demonstration to participating in the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party. To me, it was an opportunity to educate people about their rights and to show to the world that people in Mississippi, black people, poor people in Mississippi, wanted the right to vote and that we were willing to do whatever it took to be a part of the democratic process. When you can get people operating around, forcing the political institutions to operate around their self-interest, they feel more confidence in the country, they feel more confidence in themselves, and they are prepared to go to quite a length to bring about the kind of country that America has always promised to be, but never quite was there. We're closer to that now than ever before. Politically, uh, one now has a greater appreciation for that for what one writer called that ragtag group of people who came out of Mississippi and formed the Freedom Democratic Party. But we won the struggle, even as we were losing. And we need to know that sense of history, that nothing is absolute at the moment. Even failure is not absolute, but it's a little more certain than success. If you fail and you give up, 